Hey you guys, and welcome back to Serenus Mods, where we spotlight the coolest and best mods for Minecraft and other amazing, mixed spectacular games. Today we're going to be checking out an amazing mod known as the Sun Torch mod for Minecraft. Now this was recently updated for 1.4.7 and was created by Janus234. This amazing mod introduces three brand new torch types to your Minecraft world. The Sun Torch, the Evil Sun Torch, and the Moon Torch. Now each of these torches affect mobs in different ways, so let's go ahead and hop into the mod. The first of these torches is the sun torch. It will emit light like a normal torch, but it will also burn burn your skeletrons and your zombies for you. The way that you're going to craft this is three glowstone on the bottom of the torch with a crisscross pattern, rotten flesh and bone with an ender pearl on top and you will receive eight sun torches. Perfect amount for creating the evil sun torches. And the way that you're going to craft the evil sun torch is um, this pattern. Now, what that thing in the middle is, is crystal of evil. That's probably where it's getting all of its evilosity from. So the crystal of evil is used to craft evil sun torches as well as moon torches. And the way that you're going to craft this is two ender pearls, two gunpowder, two slime ball, and two spider eyes surrounding a diamond. Yes, you're going to have to kill a lot of mobs and fork over one diamond just to get one of these crystal of evil. Now, the way that you're going to craft this once you have your crystal of evil is eight sun normal sun torches surrounded uh, surrounding a crystal of evil. And you will receive eight evil sun torches in return. So you will get... 8 for 8 in this exchange. Unfortunately, for moon torches, that's not the case. If you want to upgrade this evil sun torch one set a step further, you again get the moon torch, but you are going to have to fork over yet another crystal of evil, which will amount to two diamonds every time you want to create a moon torch. One to create the evil sun torch that uh, is below it, and one for the crystal of evil above it. And the, these will all affect things in different way. The sun torch will burn all hostile hostile mobs, ex the evil sun torch of course, will burn all hostile mobs except for the ender dragon, any nether creature because of course they're apparently impossible to burn, and witches because for some reason all of those history books where they said they were burning witches, they lied, witches can't be burned unless you have a moon torch, and the moon torch will burn absolutely anything it comes in, in contact to, even you, so watch out for these evil blue things of doom. Alright, so the way that you can use these to better utilize the is basically make a giant like um, normal like if you were to build a wall you can instead make a line of these surrounding your base making sure not to get too close to these the only time that this would really be a good idea is if you really don't want sheepies in your base or if you're on a public server that you don't want people touching your stuff with because otherwise you're gonna get burned anyway so you could just maybe drink a fire potion and then set this up so that they won't take your stuff while you're offline so yeah if you become uh, come into a any radius of these it will light you on fire it is monstrous and luckily it does have a pretty wide radius and it would really suck if you forked over two diamonds just to get if it, they white walked over on top of them so yeah if they get in the radius they will light on fire these ones however are a little bit safer to you and I would re definitely recommend these most of the time especially if you're playing single player this will only burn the hostile mobs like I said and any of the mobs that you would that it can't really burn you normally wouldn't find in the overworld except for witches of course and you probably wouldn't have to deal with that unless you w lived in a swamp and you really wanted to get buddy buddy with that witch's hut all right so let's go ahead and test this out because you know we're pretty much monsters here let's just you know kill things for our own fun all right so normally these torches over here the normal sun torches cannot burn a spider but this can oh wait we're on peaceful of course it'll just disappear let's go ahead and pop that right there and yeah he's lighting on fire he's he's not exactly having the party of his life here Poor guy. Alright, so let's go ahead and burn his zombie friend, because as if he's him dying isn't enough, we gotta kill his friends. So let's go ahead and put him in between there, but if we go ahead and throw a spider, he'll be totally fine, unless he walks over there. Don't do it, spider! Don't do it! And of course, pigs are safe as well, except if they come over here. Then you can get some pretty nice pork chops by throwing him next to that. You evil monster. Pete is gonna be pissed. Alright, have an amazing day, guys. If you guys really enjoyed this mod, I will be leaving the download links in the description below, both for Skydive as the amazing free installers. I definitely suggest giving them a try if you haven't already. And have an amazing day, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to tell all your friends because everything is better with friends. Proven by those groups of Endermen. They're not in a group to, for no reason. They're, of course, friends. So they know a thing or two about friends. Have an amazing day, guys. And I will see you guys for the next episode of Mod Spotlights later. So and thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys for the next episode later. Goodbye.